Have you ever wondered how some people seem to accumulate wealth effortlessly? The answer often lies in the power of investing. It's like setting out on a journey with a destination in mind, financial freedom. A place where you're not shackled by bills, debts, or the fear of living paycheck to paycheck. Now, imagine a tool, a vehicle that could help you reach this destination. That tool is investing, particularly in the stock market. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a tried-and-true method that has changed the lives of many people. From the ordinary Joe who became financially independent to the likes of Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest people in the world, they all harness the power of investing in stocks. It's a process, a journey that requires patience, knowledge, and discipline. The stock market is a powerful tool that can propel you towards financial freedom. Ah, gather round, you aspiring stock market moguls and curious novices alike. Welcome to the gritty, lustful world of luxury, where fortunes are made and legends are born fam. The stock market, that's my good word. I'm here to be your guide through the murky waters of Wall Street. You feel me, the alleyways of finance and the back rooms where deals are struck. However, I'm a boss, yes. so my financial advisor will put you on. How to harness the raw power of stocks, turning mere dollars into stacks of cash and dreams into reality. That's on my soul. Understanding the stock market might seem overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Let's start with the basics. The stock market is like a grand marketplace where you can buy and sell shares of publicly traded companies. Now, what are shares? Think of them as tiny pieces of a company. When you buy a share, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. You're buying the right to a tiny fraction of the company's future earnings and assets. But why should you care about owning a piece of a company? Well, owning stocks gives you the opportunity to benefit from a company's success. If the company does well, the price of your shares may go up. You could then sell your shares at a higher price than you paid for them, making a profit. This is the fundamental principle of investing in the stock market. However, it's not just about buying low and selling high. Many companies also pay dividends to their shareholders. Dividends are a portion of the company's earnings, distributed to shareholders as a token of appreciation. So, owning stocks can provide you with two potential sources of income. Capital gains from selling your shares at a higher price and dividends. Now, let's discuss how the stock market operates. It's largely driven by supply and demand. When there are more people wanting to buy a particular stock than sell it, the price of that stock goes up. On the other hand, if more people are selling a stock than buying it, the price goes down. The stock market also offers the potential for growth over time. Despite short-term ups and downs, historically, the market has trended upward in the long run. This means that investing in the stock market over a long period can potentially yield significant returns. However, it's important to remember that past performance is not a guarantee of future results. With this basic understanding, you're already on your way to becoming a savvy investor. They call me the dawn of the market, bro, and I've seen it all. The highs, the lows, and everything in between. But make no mistake, this ain't for the faint of heart, bro. This ain't your grandma's savings account. It's a cutthroat world out there, and only the strong survive. So if you smell like feline, you need to reevaluate your life. Look in the mirror, wash your face off, and come back. I'm God. Now if you're still here, press like and beat that subscribe like they owe you money. Now that you know what the stock market is, you might be wondering how to get started. Dipping your toes into the ocean of stocks can seem intimidating at first, but fear not. It's a process anyone can learn, and it all starts with setting your financial goals. Are you saving for retirement? A down payment on a house? Your child's education? No matter the goal, having a clear vision will guide your investment decisions. Once you've set your goals, next comes the exciting part, researching and choosing stocks. Start by exploring different sectors, like technology, healthcare, or energy. 
Each sector has its own set of characteristics and growth potential. You can then shortlist companies within these sectors based on factors such as their financial health, future prospects, and how they align with your investment goals. Now remember, investing is not about putting all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is key. This means spreading your investments across different sectors and companies, which can help reduce risk. With your short list in hand, it's time to open a brokerage account. This is your gateway to the stock market. There are many online platforms that make this process straightforward and convenient. Some even offer tools for research and analysis, which can be a great help in making informed decisions. And finally, the moment of truth, making your first investment. This is where you buy shares of a company and officially become a stock market investor. Start small get a feel for the market, and don't let the ups and downs discourage you. Investing is a long-term game, and patience is your greatest ally. Remember, the first step is always the hardest, but once you get started, the journey becomes easier. So, take that first step, embrace the learning curve, and embark on your journey towards financial freedom. Real talk on everything, brah. Getting started in stocks requires the right tools. Listen fam, since my advisor didn't give you specific apps to get started, I will. That's what I'm here for, baby. I got you. Popular apps that can help you begin your journey into the world of stock trading are Robinhood. Known for its user-friendly interface and commission-free trading, Robinhood is a great choice for beginners. It offers a simple way to buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptocurrencies. Wibble, similar to Robinhood, Webull offers commission-free trading for stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptocurrencies. It provides advanced trading tools and features, such as technical indicators and research reports, making it suitable for both beginners and more experienced traders. TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform is highly regarded for its robust trading tools and educational resources. While it may have a steeper learning curve compared to some other apps, it offers a wide range of features for traders looking to dive deeper into analysis and strategy development. E Asterisk Trade E Asterisk Trade is another well-established brokerage with a user-friendly platform and a wealth of educational materials. It offers commission-free trading for stocks, ETFs, and options, along with research tools and market insights to help you make informed decisions. Fidelity Investments Fidelity's mobile app provides access to a wide range of investment products, including stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, and more. It offers research and analysis tools, as well as educational resources to help you learn about investing. M1 Finance M1 Finance is a unique platform that combines automated investing with customizable portfolios. You can create your own portfolio or choose from expert portfolios and M1 Finance will automatically rebalance and reinvest your funds based on your preferences. Acorns. If you're looking for a hands-off approach to investing, Acorns might be worth considering. It rounds up your everyday purchases to the nearest dollar and invests the spare change into a diversified portfolio of ETFs. Remember to do your own research and choose the app that best suits your needs, preferences, and investment goals. You feel me? Additionally, be sure to understand the fees, features, and risks associated with each platform before getting started. Happy investing, my G! Taking the first step towards investing in the stock market can seem daunting. But remember, every successful investor started where you are now. The key to unlocking your financial potential lies not in a secret formula, but in the actions you choose to take today. Embarking on this journey requires patience and a commitment to continuous learning. It's about embracing the idea that success isn't immediate, but incrementally achieved over time. It also means understanding that there will be challenges, yet remaining undeterred in the pursuit of your financial goals. Investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about consistency and discipline, not luck or timing. So, as you take this first step, Remember to stay the course, be patient, keep learning, and stay committed to your financial goals. The power to achieve financial freedom is in your hands. 
Start your investing journey today and unlock the potential of your financial future. Hustlers and money makers, it's time to wrap things up. But before you go counting your stacks, I've got one last thing for you. A golden opportunity to keep that cash flowing and those pockets deep. Press one of the videos popping up. You've already dipped your toes into the shark infested waters of finance and now you're hungry for more. Well, lucky for you, G, I've got a whole arsenal of financial wisdom waiting for you. Whether you're looking to flip stocks like a pro, dive into the world of real estate, or uncover the secrets of passive income, I've got you covered. So don't be a op. I'll see you in the next episode of Money Making Madness. Because remember, in this game, knowledge is power, and power leads to profits. Until next time, stay sharp, stay hungry, and keep hustling.